Hello, I'm Larry Beckwith. And I'm Molly Johnson. And we are the honorary co-chairs of Friends of Music here at St. Thomas's Church on Huron Street. Molly, what is your connection to St. Thomas's? Well, I was baptized here. I was married here. I went to Sunday school here. My mother taught Sunday school here. My father was one of the ushers here. Loved to do the collect he did. <laughs> uh, I was married here. Uh, married and baptized by the same Father Freeland, I may add. So that's kind of a cool thing. And then my eldest son was baptized here. And my children, on their own, quite love coming here and feel great peace and happiness when they come to St. Thomas's. So that's a really nice thing. I first came to St. Thomas's at the invitation of John Tuttle uh, as a member of the choir in 1992 and uh, fell in love with the place, the, the setting, the liturgy, the music, uh, and just the sense of um, tradition here at St. Thomas's and the beauty in which uh, every aspect of uh, worship and in, indeed parish life is, uh, is done and with such care and intelligence as well. I was married here as well. You were. My two daughters were baptized in the, in the gorgeous baptistry and, um, and it is a wonderful place to come on a Sunday morning and just be with uh, sort of eternal thoughts and, and I love uh, it. in this wonderful setting. And to listen to the Anglican canon, there's, the songs are so beautiful. And I've said many times quietly to the choir, what a joy it is for me, who's always the one that has to do the singing, <laughs> to just sit back and hear this beautiful music done so well. Yeah. Well, one of the things we're, we're trying to initiate here with the Friends of Music at St. Thomas's is to acknowledge that it already is a rich and yes. wonderful music program Absolutely. with a great tradition. But we want to uh, engage with youth in a more formal way. That's right. And um, so we're beginning a chorister program in September uh, in which uh, young people can come two or three afternoons a week and have get some music education Perfect. and get the uh, engage in the joy of singing together uh, with some expert guidance and then eventually uh, engage with the with the choir and sing in services as well. It's such a wonderful thing when you sing in a group mm -hmm. and the confidence that you build, the self confidence you build within the group is 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 marvelous to see and, and a great thing for young people to experience. So mm -hmm. I'm really hoping that we can encourage young people to participate and come on board and sing some of these beautiful songs. When you think of some of Canada's greatest musicians and where they started, think Gordon Lightfoot, think Jim Cuddy from Blue Rodeo. Uh, these guys started in choirs in their churches uh, Gord, Gord continued to almost till the day he died attending his church in Aurelia and participating in the services there. Uh, I've seen thousands of people hanging, waiting for Jim Cuddy to hit that beautiful high note he hits in that gorgeous song, Try. And I know he can get that note every single time because his ears and his voice were so well trained in church. So this is another fun fact <laughs> about music education and the importance of it. And what a joy to really be able to open it up to the kids in this neighborhood, um, within the church congregation, but out, outside of that. Just wonderful opportunities. We also want to uh, engage with the community and uh, have outside musical groups come in and give concerts and uh, think of St. Thomas's as a home and as a concert giving venue. So we're hoping to uh, more formally have uh, concert series, have lecture series, yeah. um, informal song circles. Uh, we have, as you may know, a social justice yeah. uh, committee and program here. And one of the things I'd love to see is, you know, a coffee houses every once in a while. And well, when you think of the location of St. Thomas's, we're practically sitting on, well, we are sitting on University of Toronto 
right there and nothing says young engaged people like universities and we're right there so coffee houses and lecture series and meeting places and just getting that community more engaged with St. Thomas's would be pretty fantastic. So in, in summation then, why should somebody support the Friends of Music here at St. Thomas's? Why should you support? Well, you should support by coming out to some of the great initiatives that we're going to put together for you, for sure. Engage, get out, be involved, um, and you'll be rewarded with joyous music and good times. <laughs> <laughs> and you yourself have offered at some point to do a, a oh, concert Oh, I'll do for something. Us? I'll do something. I'll do something. But you've got to show up. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do something for sure. I'll bring my band. We'll do our thing. <laughs> Thank you. That's great. Thank you.